This last part of our lecture on DNA structure and function is very short. I just want to briefly touch on how DNA replication occurs in prokaryotes and then to also briefly mention the topic of mutations and how they relate to DNA. So let's look first at how DNA replicates in prokaryotes. And you will remember prokaryotes, remember, are those organisms that do not have a true nucleus. Pro means before, karyo means curdle. So these are organisms that have DNA just floating inside the cell. They do not have their DNA confined within an organelle called the nucleus. Now, one thing we, we need to remind you of, if you don't remember, is that prokaryotic DNA is circular. It comes in a big loop. And that makes things kind of interesting for DNA replication. DNA replication in uh, prokaryotes is very similar to what we see in eukaryotic DNA uh, in that we still have to have a helicase unwind. You still have to ha uh, unwind and break apart the hydrogen bonds. You still have to have DNA polymerase, one type of DNA polymerase come in, make an RNA primer, and then the second type of DNA polymerase uh, attached to that RNA primer and then begin synthesis. You still have to use ligase. All of that's the same. What's interesting is that in um, DNA synthesis, we know that DNA synthesis does not just occur in one place on the strand of a prokaryotic chromosome. It turns out replication will begin at multiple spots along the circular DNA of the bacterium. And as a result, you get multiple replication forks, as you see here. We call them actually replication bubbles because they look like little bubbles popping up along the surface of the circular DNA. And those bubbles uh, lengthen until such time as they meet up with each other. So synthesis is going on in both directions here, both directions here. And once they've all met up, then you have uh, completely new, two completely new daughter strands of DNA, each of which contains one of the old parent strands and one of the new daughter strands. Now, by comparison, just so you know, eukaryotic DNA is not circular. Instead, eukary eukaryotic DNA is just linear. And that those linear segments of DNA in eukaryotes we call chromosomes. Now what happens if DNA polymerase is moving along copying DNA, pairing A's with T's and C's with G's, and it accidentally pairs an A with a C? Well, if that happens, you have what's called a mutation. Anytime you get a mispairing of nucleotides, that is a mutation. Now fortunately, DNA polymerase does proofread itself. After it goes through and um, uh, uh, synthesizes all the DNA, DNA polymerase goes back and rereads everything it's done to proofread. And that reduces the mutation rate or the error, uh, the, the mismatch rate down to about one error in every uh, billion. Nucleotides. Now that means that in the case of humans, for example, we have about 3 billion nucleotides. So every time our DNA is copied inside a particular cell, there's a chance that up to three errors would not be caught during the proofreading um, sequence. If those errors happen to occur in places where genes are located, and um, these are allowed, these errors continue to accumulate in the cell, eventually cancer may develop eventually. Now fortunately when an error is detected during the proofreading process the body or the um, cell has different enzymes which are um, available that can pre repair um, the particular uh, mismatch. These are um, endonucleases and uh, their job is to basically cut out or excise the error uh, in the sequence and then to uh, allow DNA polymerase to go in and recopy uh, the correct sequence. Now interesting enough there are DNA repair enzymes that also help us deal with the effects that sun can have on our DNA. Um, 
If you look at this molecule of DNA over here, you can see that there are, um, or there were on, the, on one strand of DNA, there were two thymines together, which means that they were paired uh, across with two adenines this way. Now, when um, sunlight UV radiation hits DNA, any place that the UV radiation hits where there are two thymines side by side on the same strand of DNA, that um, ultraviolet radiation can actually cause those thymines to break their hydrogen bonds with adenines and then instead to form a bond between each other right here. And that puts a kink or a bend in the DNA molecule. This is called a thymine dimer. Di means two, mer means those subunits, in this case nucleotides that are paired together. So dimer is two uh, nucleotides paired together, in this case two thymine nucleotides. There is, however, a special enzyme called DNA photolase. DNA photolase, photolyase, sorry, photolyase, whose job it is to go in and cut out uh, where that thymine dimer is and help to repair back to having just two individual thymine nucleotides properly hydrogen bonded to the adenines on the opposite DNA strand. Okay, that ends our lectures on DNA.